Oh. There we go. La, 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 la. Take this down. Okay, people are already here, which means I got five minutes to, I don't know. Oh, this is wrong. This is right. Shrine's video, and I don't know what I'm doing. So, we're waiting around. Who is here? The ninja, obviously. Because how could the ninja not be here? The ninja's everywhere. Come on, get with the program. Um. Ah. Oh. It, oh, you're talking about, you know, Ryan. Uh, what do you mean, nice green screen? You can't see it. You can't see the green screen. You don't know if it's nice. You have no freaking clue. But I'll show you the green screen. Um, um, there. Guys, it's been a long ass day. Uh, the last couple days I downloaded all the uh, entries for the Six Feet Apart contest. We have 193 and I put them all in, I cataloged them and named, numbered them, then I put them all in a sequence so the judges can look at all of them and put them all together and put numbers on them. And it's 15 hours. Who's gonna judge this? And, yeah, I'm trying to export this and upload it. That's what I'm doing. I haven't done actual videos that make me money. So hopefully this is going to make me some money. Um, probably not. Because who's got money right now? Yeah, it's nice. Right, Ryan? Right, 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 Ryan, right? So if I do this, and then I go back to... Where's my thing? There's my thing. Oh, here we go. Uh, I got three minutes before I have to do this totally commercial commercial. Um, who else is here? I will not click the links. Well, why are you here then? That's what makes me the money. And that's what makes Sweetwater happy. And if Sweetwater's happy, I'm happy because I can feed the dog. So if you're not clicking the links, then you're just here to troll me. Actually, well, give me three minutes because then it's six and then I'll start my whole, you know, pitch. Which I don't have. I'm, I'm typing to Ryan. Two minutes. According to my book. We have, uh, well, there's Ryan. Uh, Really, Ryan, it was a sincere idea. Let's just look what Sweetwater has. And, oh, there are links under the video. Hmm. Affiliate links? Ryan. Ryan. I mean, you might have had the idea, but then Sweetwater's taking the idea and is making all of us do it. I mean, making? No, not really. Well, dude, <laughs> the old days when we uploaded videos without the money as a goal, when was that? This is, we have to make money with this. This is a job. We couldn't make videos for you if we didn't make money with it. We're still trying to be cool about it. We're still trying to, um, you know, be honest in all that stuff, which is great because we can. But if we don't make money with it, you have no videos. Do you under How would we make videos without turning this into money? You literally cannot do this job, going to work, coming home, 
making a video. I work 12 hours a day on this. How would, how would I do this without making money with it? That's really not very fair of you. It's really not, and I'm getting pissed off about stuff like that. So, apparently you're already all on, on the side. So, uh, six, six o'clock. So Ryan did this thing, which I didn't watch, and I was looking at him like, ah, oh, what a sellout. He, you know, Sweetwater sends us all these special deals, like, uh, do the, what, why, why am I stuck? Am I stuck? No, I'm not. Um, so they send out these special deals, and I'm like, yeah, I link to the stuff I use in videos, but I don't do special videos about special deals. Because I would feel, you know, like a cheap hoe. Um, and then I'm looking at Ryan, I'm like, ah, he's a cheap hoe. But you know what? Hey, that, it's cool if you can make money with that, but I don't really want to push a sale. In Germany, we're not all about sale, sale, Sunday, 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 only this weekend. It makes me very aggressive when I think about this stuff because I did those commercials when I lived in the US. Now, um, I definitely don't want, you know, wouldn't want to make a video like this. But then Natalie writes me and said, look what Ryan did. He's so cool. And Natalie is really nice and really hot. And I want to impress Natalie. So... Obviously, I'm not going to say no to Natalie, because did I mention the hotness? So, this is why I'm making this video, um, because of the hotness. Um, also, Sweetwater are cool, and then... Uh, what, what? Henning calls me a cheap hoe, but he always pays me with legs. I do, I do, right? Um, so, I'm like, why not? It's easy content. I just got to sit here, talk to you people, do the thing. Uh, uh, and and uh, I told Natalie, I'm like, I'm going to do this. But I'm going to honestly talk about what I'm seeing. And I haven't looked at the deals. So I'm going to review the shit that they got on the website. So what Sweetwater Sweet, Sweet is doing is uh, they got GearFest, but they don't have GearFest. People are not showing up. It's the virtual GearFest. Any trade show this year has got to be virtual. And how do you do a virtual trade show? Well, uh, they have videos for all their brands. They collected videos for the products. It's not like going to, to a booth and talking to the builder, but it's the second best thing. You get videos about the uh, products. They have live streams of workshops with really cool people. I think they got slashed somehow for a lot of money. Um, and they have these tent deals, and also the GearFest sale. And they said, look at it. And then they gave me special links. So if you're clicking on the link and you're buying something, you're actually supporting me and the dogs. And uh, tomorrow we, we might be getting a new dog. We might. We're driving very far to look at it. I don't know yet, but that dog's not cheap and it's going to eat and stuff. So I need money. Um... So, I guess what Ryan did... Wait a second. I don't, I don't know what Ryan did. I literally have no idea. We'll find out. If he picks up. Ryan! Why can't I hear you? I can't hear you. What's... wait? Now? This is what Ryan looks like. But, uh... I don't... I don't know what he says. I literally have no idea. Now he just hung up on me. Give me a minute. Well, okay. I don't know what he did. I'm going to ask him what he did. But I'll start looking at things uh, and stuff. And I'm way too big also here. Uh, so we're going to do this and then I'm smaller. So apparently if you click on the link under the video, which is what this is all about. They want to make money. I want to make money. You want deals. Um, and I'm going to try to find out if they're good deals. This keyboard, the Roland Phantom, I have no idea. Literally none. Sure, I don't know. 4,500 bucks. I don't know. Lots of money. I have no idea what that is. Uh, big Bose penis. No idea. Uh, there's a smaller Bose penis. No idea. Uh, Electro voice subwoofer. 
I don't need one, but maybe you do. I, I literally can't comment on these. Um, Kita. Well, who doesn't need a Kita for 999 bucks? It says now, 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 but we actually don't know what the original pricing was, right? Hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, it would help if we looked at something that we actually know. Um, wave? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I'm trying... Yes, new dog day. Um, here, magnetone amp. Now $27.99. That still feels like a lot of money. I don't know how much it actually is. Do they say that? It's like what Billy Gibbons plays, right? Okay. Hmm. I don't know how much that usually is. You get an autographed Billy Gibbons book. That's cool. So... Oh, that could be cool. Because Studio One... Oh, no, he, he. Hello? Does that work now? That, that works. It's Ryan. Um, so, I didn't watch your video. Good. What did you do? I just, I just, like, looked through what was, I was, like, just scrolling through, and I organized by most popular or best savings, and then I just looked at stuff and mostly made fun of Angelco guitars. <laughs> well, I, that was the one thing I was going to say that's good. Okay, we're, you're going to stay with me. Uh, you can okay. look right there. I was going to say this Persona thing is probably cool because Studio One itself is like 400 bucks, and you get a kick-ass mix-up with it. Um, but most of the stuff here, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what this Bose penis is and why it's good. <laughs> Ah, uh, that would be a good idea since I have a guitar channel. Yeah, I mean, maybe you want to... I don't know if there's a camera section and you just want to look at cameras. Ah! Um, <laughs> I, I, here's another Magnetone amp for twenty three ninety nine. dollars uh, only that I don't know how much it usually is because they don't have the non-sale yeah. pricing, so... Well, you got to click on it to see what the MSRP is, but then it doesn't... I mean, it's MSRP. It doesn't tell you, like, oh, what the everyday street price is. It doesn't even say MSRP. So, so it's tough to say, whoa, man, what a deal. Well, there was one that I found. If, if you go to the very highest price stuff in our guitar, there's this uh, Sailor Jerry themed uh, Martin that's $5,000 off. You can save $5,000 on it. Uh, there are two Martin guitars, each for $15,000. Yeah. That's, and and that's my, my, first imp things. my first impression is... That's but ugly. What the crap? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's got like a sailor thing on it. Yeah, that's not even the one I saw yesterday. They must, they must have new ones up, or the old ones sold, or something. Yeah, here it says sweet worth five thousand in savings because they're giving you MSRP, which of course, I mean, but that's not a guitar you ever play. You don't go to the bar with that. You put that. You wouldn't. You wouldn't play that. I could see you playing that. I'll, I'll play Wonderwall on that, not a problem. So, people, hey, 15th... Look, if you buy that, I can easily afford the new dog. All I'm saying. There you go. PRS Guys, Private Stock... Affiliate link. You know what? If, if someone uses your affiliate link and buys that, I mean, you got to send me a gift or something. <laughs> I'll send you a gift. That's what you get. <laughs> I'll say, we're going to go with most popular. Okay. How does, how does affiliate work? What's half a percent of $15,000? <laughs> okay, so Magnetone, we have Quilter. You, you see, I will only comment on stuff that I actually know. Because if I don't know it, how am I going to say it's good? Right, uh, right. Quilter, Quilter. I just don't like the look of those Quilter amps. Um, have, you, have you played one? No. They're great. They're really great. But, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a clean amp type of guy, so I like them. And I like, I like uh, really good solid-state amps, and I think it's a good version of a solid-state amp. Okay, we got the Eventide Pitch Factor. It's probably the least coveted of the Factor series because it's the pitch one. Yeah, I haven't messed with any of those. But it says three ninety nine, and it says was four ninety nine, not MSRP four ninety nine. So. Yeah, maybe it's not MSRP. Maybe that's street price. Uh, what I noticed uh, when I did the 
this yesterday, uh, is there's a there's a lot of scratch and dent guitars. If you're looking at guitars, there's stuff that they photographed or was returned to them, and they've got all these little stickers that show you tiny little imperfections or there was a crack in the binding or whatever, and someone sent it back. So there's a lot of that going on that you can get like 100, 200 bucks off of certain guitars. Um, as far as like pedals and stuff go, I don't know what the deals are. Uh, Natalie told me that the good, good, good deals were dropping today and tomorrow, so I don't know what's new. As then as why is she asking me to make this video now? Today's Friday. Yeah, she, what did she say to her? The, the... <laughs> why am I even here? <laughs> she said today and tomorrow, man. I mean, if you want to do it again tomorrow, then do it again tomorrow. No, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> you don't want to do it on, you don't want to spend your Saturday? Cruising Sweetwater? No, I'm I'm looking at a new dog tomorrow. <laughs> so um okay. Get your new dog to look at Sweetwater. It'll be great content. Don't 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 tell anyone, but we're looking at a poodle. Okay. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Cause uh Leslie said after, you know, old grumpy dog that, you know, wouldn't die. <laughs> after Jung Django left us, uh she said, I, I, I can pick the next dog, and I always wanted a, you know, a, a king poodle, like a, the big poodle, not the little poodle. The big poodle. Not, not, not a toy poodle, like, uh, you know, like a, right, right. a big one. And then, yeah. of course, you know, I want to, you know, do the frou-frou pom-poms, and, and I want to make it pink, obviously. Of course. She said I'm not allowed to. Well, the, the make it purple, then. It doesn't have to be pink. Exactly. Well, and the thing is, I want a poodle simply because it makes a lot of sense to call the poodle noodle. Yeah, poodle noodle. Yeah, it's gonna be could be called noodle if we can actually get a poodle. So we're looking at one tomorrow. Um, so so the uh, uh, Sweetwater uh, sales. Um, uh, time fact: the the factor pedals are all three ninety nine. So it's not like oh my god, special sale. They're all three ninety nine now, and I actually think they've always been three ninety nine. Um, <laughs> I. I uh, I have a feeling there's going to be some, like, a, a few standout deals that once people figure out they're there, they'll, they'll snatch them up real quick. When I went to, because they usually do Gear Fest, it's like a physical thing. You go to Sweetwater, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a big party. I went there two years ago, and they were selling SM57s for $57, and SM58s for $58. I was like, well, shoot, I gotta, <laughs> gotta jump on that. that. That's, that's not a bad deal. bad deal. But look, look here, ha, huh? look here. The mod factor is 319 No, no, no! It was three ninety nine. Oh yeah, that, there you go. Sixty bucks, uh, eighty bucks off. So three, three. Uh, it says was three ninety nine, but I think they were all four ninety nine or MSRP four ninety nine. Now, for that pedal, that's a kick ass deal because the modulation stuff from uh, uh, Eventide is kick ass. Mm. So uh, yeah, I would go for that. No question. There are Morley pedals. Um, Do you like Morley stuff? Do you like the Morley was? Uh, they're, they're special because they got they got the spring, you know. Um, yeah. But uh, but if you want if you want that, I think that's 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 kick ass. I just reviewed the Michael Amet one, all blood splattered. It's a good it's a good war, uh, and it dropped in price, so that's even gooder. Here we go. Uh, just you know, like the, uh, the the taper on the the shape of the uh, the thing is too sharp for me. They've always got that hard taper. I like a nice, big, smooth, or like a, a, like a linear taper. You, you know? like a nice and big and smooth. I get it. I like a nice and big and smooth. Um, okay, I see the Ernie Ball Expression Series. Yeah. And that it's dropped a lot in price because they're horrible pedals. <laughs> Like you, like you take them out of the box, and they're amazing. They're shiny. They're chrome. They're gold. They're so yeah. well built, and it's it was such a good idea to take a pedal with a built-in expression on it, only that they did it for an overdrive. Yeah, I've heard that the the, the tremolo version is really fun because you can switch what uh, is being affected, what's being controlled. Yeah, because I bitched about that so I, I I had them here and I couldn't make videos for them. Because on the overdrive, I think, I don't know what it was, it wasn't even, it was a fuzzy thing, and it just didn't make sense. And on the delay, instead of having a volume going into the delay, and therefore being able to create beautiful ambient stuff, um, it was a volume behind the delay. Also, oh, no. uh, also, 
including your original, uh, your dry sound. So it was pretty much like, let's cut everything off. It made, so it made zero sense. I mean, I'd want, I'd want it to control the time so I could rack time. Time, so time yeah. feedback, or volume going into the dry path, into the, into right. the wet path. It w- could have been so good, and it made zero sense. So, it's really one of those things where like, you, you want to be able... You don't want to do that with... How am I trying to say this? You want to be able to control the pedal that you already like. You don't yeah. want to invest in a new delay pedal. Well, ha- had they made it hard. selectable, it would have been killer. But this is why yeah. they're cheap, because it was a great idea that they just absolutely didn't didn't make it work, and uh, that's why they're selling them out. Uh, these groove gear cases look pretty cool. I don't know, maybe there'll be someone's, you know, secret weapon or something like that. Someone out there will have uh, a huge use for it, and then they'll get famous, and then everyone will be trying to buy these things used in 20 years for a thousand bucks. <laughs> Probably. Now they're 75 bucks at Sweetwater. Um, the Fishman Aura is a kick-ass pedal. It's not cheap. It's 380 right now. But if you're playing acoustic guitar with a piezo, this is the shit. Have you played this? No. You think I play acoustic guitar? Boring. <laughs> Boring. Well, the idea is um, it actually does physical modeling, and it, uh, uh, it simulates the sound of the guitar in the room mic'd. So it's got these these settings like, you know, Dreadnought and all that stuff. So you pretty much set it to whatever guitar you play. It doesn't morph your guitar. But if you're playing a Dreadnought and you set it to Dreadnought, then you actually get much better piezo sounds out of your guitar than with the piezo itself. It's, I know it's not piezo. I know what you want to say. Piezo. A piezo. So this piezo. is... Th- if you're playing live with a, with a, a piezo uh, acoustic, that's kick-ass. Here we got the Eventide Rose, and I would like to say this is a really, really good pedal by it at Sweetwater. Only, I have one, and I'm selling it, so buy mine first, and then buy the ones at Sweetwater. <laughs> if anyone's interested in this, buy mine. I give you, wait, Sweetwater, Sweetwater's doing $239, I do $229. $10 cheaper than Sweetwater. I, I don't think this is what Natalie... I don't think Natalie had. To, I don't think Natalie knew what she was into when she asked me, and she asked so so kindly. I mean, how could I refuse? I think as long as uh, as you know, we're all entertaining and people are clicking the links, she's happy. Absolutely, people click the links, please. Um, yes. So here we got the. Oh, that's what. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, so Sweetwater doesn't carry Chuck's power supplies for reasons that I don't understand, because they're literally the best power supplies on the market, but they do carry the Eventide versions, which are literally the same thing, but white. Make- is it like an OEM rebrand sort of thing? No, it's just the same concept. No, it literally says Chucks on it. Oh, well, there you go. But um, because the Eventide pedals need a lot of power, they teamed up with Chucks and they made the uh, uh, the Eventide power station, and now, uh, you know that uh, the one that we used at Gear Street, the, um, the DC-7? Kick-ass yeah, yeah. power supply. You can buy that in white, and it says Eventide on it. There you go. Oh, and I think yeah. when I, I think my power supplies are hidden underneath the boards. So it's like I don't care about the branding. I mean, um, I, I think one of the differences the Eventide pedals need polarity reversal, uh, and they come when you buy the Eventide version. Uh, they come with more of the green uh, green plugs, which are for polarity oh, reversal. Okay. So it just comes with more plugs. It's not reversed at the source. No. Okay, that's good. Um, so the, the Power Mini is kick-ass because that is 4 times 660 milliamps. And you can even switch it to uh, 12, 15, and 18. Uh, this is an amazing power supply. And you can even daisy-chain that with the DC7 uh, and only need one, one plug. Kick-ass. And that's only 8720. So I would get five of those if I were you through my link below. Not Ryan's link, my link. <laughs> if anyone wants to uh, upset Henning, go to my video and click my links. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the Soundbrenner watch, which is the wear it on your arm metronome. Yeah, yeah, those are cool. It's 270 bucks on sale. How much are they? 
I don't know. Oh, I can buy a metronome for nine bucks. It goes big, 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 big. That'll do the job. But it, vib it vibrates on your arm so you can feel the beat with your it's whole body. It's three hundred dollars. It programs. It reprograms your heartbeat. So and and the way you breathe. So now you breathe and your heart beats in time at one hundred and twenty beats per minute, and it completely just fucks up your body and you get really sick and eventually you die. But man, you have great rhythm for like a couple days. So buy that through my link. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan sold me. Here we have, here bare, now we're talking barefoot buttons. Big ass buttons if you want to be barefoot. By the way, if you're a YouTuber and you do pedal demos, don't do them barefoot. Just don't. Don't even do them in socks. It makes people so angry when they see feet, and I don't get it. I, you know, being in, in Southern California, like, we are all barefoot all the time. No, I, got, I, got no pro I got no problem with feet, but in pedal demos, I don't want to see that. Well, I'm, I'm sure you have a problem with feet, but to you it's just more of a fetish. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm, we, I could go into that. I'm like all pro feet, but not in pedal demos. Everyone else thinks you have a problem with feet, and you just don't see it that way. <laughs> so these buttons are pretty damn cool. Just don't make videos with them. Um, yeah. Now, yeah, now, now we get. I mean, I'm, I'm still. Feature barefoot buttons, and that's why they're so famous, right? Uh, <laughs> but I think they're just great. If you've got a, a, like two pedals really close together and you need a bigger target on one of them because one's like a tap tempo or something, they're a really great utility. Uh, you know, is, they get made fun of sometimes on groups and whatnot because someone will have a barefoot button on every single switch on their board. You don't need that. Buy like two and use them as a utility every now and then for like when you have a tight space. Like there's no reason to put them on everything. Like, but, but it's kind of it's it's still kind of cool. Yeah, buy two. You'll never need to buy any more because you move it when you need to. You know, you don't commit it to a pedal. You move it when you need it on another pedal. Now, so, now, like Sweetwater needs to get to the point where I go like, oh my god, that's the deal. Because looking <laughs> looking at the Grandmaster Deluxe Forty, this must be this must be Trump's import taxes or something because this amp is fourteen seventy nine on sale. It's hard to get Houston Kettner here. It's, it's not a common brand. They're giving me uh, an, an MSRP of 1849 and then 370 off for that's a lot of money for that amp. It's how, not, much, how much do you think it should be? I mean I could go to Toman and find out how much it is here. But <laughs> but but I don't think we want to do that in the Sweetwater video. In 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 <laughs> In in Europe, this is no more than eleven ninety, including tax. This is without right. tax. Right. So it, it must be import taxes and stuff like this. It's a good amp, but would I spend fifteen hundred bucks on it? I don't know, because at fifteen hundred, you're starting to, to get options. If you want an all in the box, has effects and everything, uh, four channels and all tube, this is good. Um. So, but I saw something else. Now ninety nine bucks for the flashback mini. Uh, what are they trying to pull here? Because weren't those always around that price, or at least like one twenty? Well, or the, the the big one now is almost that price. It's like one hundred and ten. The small one is like sixty nine bucks or something. So in the sale, it apparently went up. I mean, I I, I only know my pricing. But ninety nine oh bucks, ninety nine bucks doesn't seem to be like the. Oh my god, I gotta buy that right now! Well, those, but those are freedom bucks. Henning. You uh, understand those numbers? Those are freedom bucks. I I don't understand freedom bucks. <laughs> the, but the thing is, whatever I say, go and buy it and use my link. Um, here's the thing: if they want me, to, if they want, if they want me, to, if they want me to rave about their sales, they better bring something where, where I go like, oh my god, that's awesome. It does seem like they just listed everything that's. Uh, any sort of discount is at all as part of the sale, which is fine. Gives you a lot to browse through, but it, it, it's like 20 pages of just guitar stuff. And then I'm sure there's 20 pages of live sound stuff and drum stuff. And uh, there's a lot. So, but I mean, I you, if you go to the tab, there's a tab that uh, at the top yep. that'll let you go to like best deals or something like that. Might okay, I, I, I look at that. What, 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 again, there's the delay. 
from Ernie Ball. That's a real deal at 75 bucks, but it is a real deal because they failed at designing it well. Um, <laughs> uh, I wonder if they're moddable. If someone could crack one of those open and, and change the expression to control a different parameter. I, I, I'm, I'm also missing one thing, and now I see it. Because I'm looking at the Boss Wazacraft uh, tube expander, and I'm like, that's always twelve ninety nine, right? I don't know. Sounds about right. Um, and it's twelve ninety nine, but you get a swivel bar stool with it, a hundred. Well, yeah. That's what I'm sitting on right now. Yeah. Well, so well. See, if you're getting a hundred dollar bar stool with it, then you have a hundred dollar bar stool. Um. <laughs> Standing like a like a caveman. Deal. Now we have a deal. You see, when I when I talked about the trucks, and I was like, oh, that's that that's a good deal. Here we have the Eventide DC7. That's the DC7 version of the Eventide. Um. And in Germany, that is two hundred and seventy bucks. Well, there you go. And that's a Polish company, so import taxes can't be it. Hundred and sixty-seven dollars is a kick-ass deal for the best power supply on the market right now. That is seven times 660 milliamps switchable on any output to either 9, 12, 15, or 18. Uh, that is a good deal. If you're in the power supply market right now, go get seven of those. Buy four from me, three from Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying a dog tomorrow, so I don't need as much money as Henning does. It's a poodle. Do you know how much a fucking poodle is? Poodles are not cheap. Nope. But, but, but don't tell anyone. We're obviously getting it from the pound, and the pound confiscated a whole bunch of poodles. And three, one, three that are two years old, but five that are only six months old. And they're doing those a little bit cheaper because they're Lannisters. What does that mean? What's a Lannister? You don't know Game of Thrones? I don't. They're incest poodles. Oh, oh my goodness. You know, a little bit brain dead, therefore cheaper. It might be, uh, it might be more fun. <laughs> Just don't let, it, don't let them get at it again, you know? But I mean, if I want brain dead, I already have you, I have Andy. I mean, come on. <laughs> How much more brain dead do I need? <laughs> It'll be like having one of us around. <laughs> you'll, you'll meet the poodle, you're like, oh, 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 you know? <laughs> you'll just be... Oh yeah, this is decent. Uh, he put down newspapers and it. not one dollar cheaper, but you get a mission engineering uh, expression pedal oh, yeah. and a cable, and that's a really yeah, good expression pedal. That's are fun. yeah, that's that's a very good expression. Yeah, and I mean, if if you haven't messed with the the helix stuff or the just the new line six stuff, like expression is so much fun with those pedals, with that whole ecosystem. Like, you can control so much with an expression pedal. It's, it's really a blast, so... Yeah. You, you could also spend 50 bucks more and get it in white. N no, nothing well, else changes, but it's white. Hmm? Power supply, right? Yeah, exactly. But, I mean... Um... Uh, that's... Uh, the, the marshals are so expensive in the U.S. right now. Yeah. Show. Well, because it's so expensive. Um, and, and, like, who wants to haul a half stack around? Yeah, but this is the mini Jubilee with the 212, which is fine. Yeah, that's better. But the amp itself is 1299, and in Germany, that's 749. So, whoa, that's way different. Uh, the, J the JCM 800, 100 watt, in Germany is like 1600 bucks. That's three grand in the US. That's crazy. The Marshall pricing is out of control. Um, I wonder why. This is a, this is a good deal. John Mayer J Mod amp for only five grand. How much is that off? A, th a thousand. Hey, a thousand bucks off. Is that like like eighteen percent off or something like that? That's good. He has a Gibson. Don't buy that. Because we don't buy from fuckheads. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> 
We only support companies that are, you know, nice. They're friendly. Yeah, which is why we're right now pushing Sweetwater because nice people. Oh, they're very friendly. Yeah. Um, very nice to us. What's call in savings? That means they can't tell you how cheap it is. I think those are going to be really good deals for people who are curious about stuff uh, because they can't advertise how cheap it is because they get in trouble with the manufacturer. So you got to call in and ask, like, hey, what are you selling? The, uh, the okay. Blue that, that's, a, that's an insanely good amp. Watch my video on that where Thomas Blue is sitting next to me and we're comparing that to my whole amp wall and uh, I can yeah. barely tell the difference. So I think the call-in stuff is probably going to be the secret sauce, but then it, it bypasses our affiliate links, which is a bummer. For oh, uh, don't viewers. call in. Buy something else. <laughs> for the viewers and for anyone shopping this stuff, I think if you see something that says call in and you're genuinely curious about it, I think it's worth taking a chance because that's them saying, like, we can't tell you how cheap we're going to sell this to you. Like, <laughs> uh, that might be the real deal. Here's the Studio Vintage. Uh, Marshall, which is extremely good. That's the mini plexi. I use that quite a bit. Um, usually clocks in at twelve ninety nine. Now we're looking at eleven sixty nine. It's, it's one hundred and thirty well, bucks off. Other, compared to those other Marshall prices that you're saying, that's that's not a bad deal. Then if it's similar to what you're paying there, it, well, it's not. I mean, I I'd be paying under nine hundred for that. Oh well, yeah. I I don't under under nine hundred, including tax. This is with. I, I don't know what's wrong with Marshall pricing. Um, what do we have here? Zoom. Ooh, now that's a deal. Fender 68 Custom Deluxe 112 All Tube, 944. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Because that amp in Germany would be 1500. Yeah. Yeah. I, I flipped one of the, a used, older version of that that wasn't a desirable version for basically that money. So you can get a new one. And the, those. Those, the 68 ratios are, are really great. Yeah, so get that. Yeah, no kidding. Especially considering that the Tone Master is the same price. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice yeah, and it serves the purpose. I've tried the Tone Master stuff yet. I'm a huge Fender nerd, but like the Tone Master stuff just isn't appealing to me. Like If I'm going to get a big amp, I might as well just get the tube thing. Oh, uh, he is a good amp. That went down quite a bit in price. Because I looked at uh, Friedman Smallbox 50. I have that. That is the premier plexi on the market. It's ridiculously good. And I just looked at that the other day, and I was like, oh, that's expensive even in the U.S., but now 2500 that's good. They've got a, a, a bunch of Tone Kings on there, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's a demo. Waza 2 Bamp Expander for 1169 yeah. That's not bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, who who cares? I mean, it, that thing is all metal. I mean, who who cares if it has a scratch on it? That's, yeah, exactly. I'm uh, gonna scratch and dent stuff right away. So, um, so you bitched about Angelico stuff. Um, what's your problem with them? Uh, well, I wasn't lo looking at look at the the solid body. Oh, the, those are horrible. Don't buy those. That's what I was looking at. I that, I mean that Grateful Dead guitar. I mean whatever, whatever. If you like that, you like that. I mean the price isn't bad on it. But man, their solid bodies are. Oh, they're horrible. They're, 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 no, that's. They're, they're ridiculous. I have an EX uh, DC, which is a 335, and I have a full hollow body, the uh, SS, um, and that's. Both of them are insanely good guitars. The headstock's ugly, but they're very, very good guitars. <laughs> yeah, the headstocks are, are a trip. I mean, they're definitely doing their own thing there, and I, I respect that, but. Man, it's, it's a wild brand. Jason Richardson Signature, 350 off from Music Man. If you want seven, you seven string shred, here's a Dangelico. It's only 100 bucks off. Dangelico, you know, Jazz Box for 1900. <laughs> Though, and those are the Korea ones, and that's what I have. And they're very, very good guitars. I've sold quite a few guitars over the years. Um, you know, they come in, they go out. Those I'm keeping, and they're not even in the room anymore. They're up in the living room, and I can't see myself selling them because, you know, one day I might do jazz. Yeah, one day you might go full jazz. You, you gotta 
got to be prepared for jazz, you yep. know? Uh, one, one day I might go full retard. I mean, who knows? <laughs> one day, I mean, seems like this. Oh, by the way, this is not, I'm sorry, this is not a derogatory term. That was a quote from a movie. Yes, no, I, I get, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, be, I, get, I get shit for that from people. That makes it okay if, you, if it's a quote, right? No, it doesn't. It, I, when, once I said it, I realized... No, it doesn't. It's not okay. I apologize for saying that and laughing about it, even though that's a good I accept, movie. I accept your apology, Henning. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm apologizing to those people. <laughs> uh, I have a friend who works at a, at a local guitar shop that does full setups on everything they ship out. And so they've got the skinny on like what comes out of the box already good. And he, he was telling me that the D'Angelco's like come set up really really nice like they have to they barely do anything to them when they when they pull them out so he is a heritage he is a heritage standard that's the gibson you can buy yeah great guitars higher quality nicer people yeah heritage makes amazing stuff also there's a bunch of the the harmonies on there i'm a huge fan of the harmonies uh they're made in the heritage factory and it's more of a uh more my style, like a bolt-on, kind of like vintage throwback sort of thing. Uh, Michael, uh, Michael, Bo Michael Bolt-on? <laughs> no, Michael Nectrup. Oh, 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 oh God. <laughs> what? The heritages are Michael Nectrup. I'm talking about the Michael Boltons. <laughs> Why don't we do this every night? <laughs> well, it's morning over here. It's 9.30. I just had breakfast. I, I worked all day. <laughs> here, here is, that's the one, the EXDC, sadly in black, but that's the one you get. That is an insane 335. Big ass headstock, yeah. but that price is good because I paid more. Uh, 1529, yeah, that's, that's, that is, uh, that's pretty damn good. I mean, if they had that in not black, because mine is seafoam green. Tell me something new! <laughs> There's a cool offset from GNL. Yeah, some nice. Oh, yeah, here's a D'Angelico. What, what? Why? What? Why? But isn't that you. But I mean, isn't that your jam? Isn't that exactly your thing? Uh, it is bananas. We have and it's, it's so wild to me that this is a brand that's being advertised and sold so nationally and so ubiquitously. You know, it's, it's everywhere. Yep. And they have these wild designs. I, it's I, kind of beautiful in a way. Yeah, but I don't know who would, who would go for it. Ah, pedals. JHS pedals. Oh, it's, you know, they're good, sadly. They're very, very good. Uh, I'm doing my first batch of uh, paid demos for JHS. Oh, really? And um, they have stuff that I can gush over and, 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 you know, sing praises to all day long. What are they sending me? Four fuzzes. <laughs> I feel like they got you confused with me. Send me the fuzzes, JHS. <laughs> like, why in the world would they? they? They have to know me. No, I'm doing four classic fuzzes. Good. I'm. I got no problem with that. Let's let's fuzz it up. Oh, they're sending you the, those new fuzzes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Uh, Fender sixty eight twin for eleven sixty nine. That's not bad. What's He's, your take on the vertex stuff? Because they got some vertex in there. I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't touch it for uh, ethical reasons. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it still. I mean. For years now, uh, but I, I still feel weird about it. And I, I accidentally interviewed that guy like three or four years back. Like we were at this uh, outdoor festival at, at Quilter, and I was just went through the booths and I was like, "Hey, we're doing interviews over here. If you want to come over." And the guy came over and he, we were talking to him, and he was like, "Oh yeah, this all this stuff happened with me and this wah pedal and this other thing." And we were like, "Oh shoot, you're that guy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, he wrote to me and then, you know, I looked back in, I looked into it and I said, no, I'm sorry, I just, that's ethically, I, that, I don't want to support someone like that. Yeah, it's still got a bad kind of 
kind of taste in my mouth, kind of bad feeling to it. Like, I, I think it's one of those things where if I, if I came into possessing them on my own, like through some sort of trade deal or something like that, I'd be like, oh, well, let's let's see what these are actually like. But I don't want to do paid demo work for them, you know. No, I I can totally relate. This is a kick-ass yeah. pedal, Walrus Warhorn. That's a company you can support because they're good people. Um, Uh, Warhorn is a great, great pedal, uh, and that's yeah. another one of those call in because they can't tell you how amazing the deal is. Deals. It might be five dollars. Call in. I, 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 I don't, I don't think so. No, you don't. You don't think I, it's five dollars. Oh, so if you have a synergy system, you can get the Vi module at forty bucks off. There you go. And why not? Yeah. Uh, why not? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not in my video, interestingly. I made a video with him, he's not even in there. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what happened. You all got him in the video and he's not even in frame in mine. I don't know. Um, Friedman BOD, kick ass, uh, the, the deluxe. That's a kick ass two channel pedal uh, that I would totally get. At 27 off, it's, I mean, it's, hey, it's 27 off. If you were going to get that anyway, you should probably get it now. What do you think of those little Vox uh, uh, new tube? They're good. They're not all the way tube, but they don't have effects loops. I, review, I, I reviewed them all and I tested them against amps. They're pretty solid, but kind of missed the point with not having an effects loop. AC-15, and I plugged them both into the same speaker, and when you do that, man, they sounded really, really close. Yeah, clean kick-ass. and they're, they're actually very good. Oh, here's the Mesa Cap clone. Don't get that. Get the uh, uh, Two Nodes Captor X because it's cheaper and much better. <laughs> it It's true. I mean, you know what's sure. in the Mesa Cap clone in the new one? I don't do a lot of, I don't do a lot of uh, impulse response stuff, so... It's, liter it's literally the two notes chip. Right. You just can't use the two note software, which makes it very stupid. <laughs> oh, I really like the color of this uh, Les Paulia, but it's an Epiphone and that's Gibson and I can't click on it. <laughs> Henning literally can't click on it. He put a thing on his computer that won't let him click no. Gibson products. Uh, but it's, it's, if you like that color, find another company that does that color. That's really cool. Um, ooh, Ref G3 pedal, 206 bucks. That's good. That's good. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Your, your kind of thing. Yeah, oh yeah, you know me. I really like the G2. The G2 is where I live. The green one. I haven't done too much with it. What the drop? Uh, the Keeley Aria delay there. I tried one of those at Sean Pierce Johnson's house. I remember it being pretty good. Uh, yeah, never played that. W wish they had sent me one. <laughs> Still crying about that. Here's a Torpedo Live. But then again, it's kind of... The, the, the Captor X has kind of made this obsolete. Right, right. I mean, but if you... You know, I don't know. If you're a rack person, you might want, want a rack. Yeah. Um, flashback times four, but is it flash? Oh, it's flashback two times four. That's a good pedal. Yep. I mean, but they've got that long TC thing now with all the multi effects in it, so maybe people would prefer that. Yeah, but that, but that that's more than twice as much. It's damn good. It's it's damn good. Um. That's a good deal of the Origin Effects Revival Drive. It's amazing to me that Line 6 is still selling new uh, DL4s. Uh, I, absolutely. But it's such a classic. Yeah. I, I, it's I, amazing. I, I mean, uh, you know, a digital modeling pedal has become a classic. And it's so outdated, it's ridiculous. Because right. it, it, it has a sampling frequency of 32K. Right. It doesn't even do 44. Now. It's got a vibe, and people buy for the vibe. It's got this, this yep. <laughs> vintage digital vibe to it. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Bubbletron is good. There's some good stuff here. Oh, oh yeah, I love the Bubbletron. Keely pedals. Wah. Michelle wants a wah. Michelle, there you go. There's a wah. Several. I think there were some, I noticed there were some good deals on straps. If anyone's shopping for straps. I was looking at like add on, add on items. Like, oh, hey, here's a $10 thing. Here's a $5 thing. And I'd like to just fill my cart up with them. And then I'm going to check in tomorrow when the big, big deals are supposed to drop maybe. And uh, if there's a big thing I want, then I'll get the big thing and have, you know, a collection of add-on items ready to go. You you actually buy guitar gear. You know what? Um, what is, what is found, wrong with this man? I found that I am still buying stuff at the same rate I used to before having all, you know, the channel and everything like that. I still buy myself, like, one guitar a year probably three or four pedals a year. I might buy myself an amp every other year. I'm still like at the same clip of purchasing stuff. I just have everything else that's sent to me as my job, you know, but you still have to like scratch that itch of, you know, like, retail therapy, you know, like, you but, but, price. but if you, you but you, if you just write to that company, they'll send you that guitar. It's like older. Like I, I bought that that '80s Jaguar uh, late last year, and that was it. Was very cathartic for me to actually go through the process of like shopping for something and hunting it down and trying to wrangle up the money to do it. And like I bought this, I bought a guitar that I wanted, and it wasn't a work thing. Like that felt really good to me. And so I don't, I'm. Just, I can. I definitely beg for stuff. I definitely can get stuff for free if I want it. But there's there's something I think that's important about maintaining my actual relationship to buying stuff and wanting things and tracking it down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ryan Burg. He lives in California and he has a problem. If you are in a, if you are in a group where you talk about that problem of buying gear and buying too much gear. Uh, invite him. He needs your help and support, please. <laughs> that is... See, I I refuse because, I mean, I get... Pedal, I, I don't know how many pedals I now have on the table and guitars and whatever, and I don't know how many, how many guitars are being built right now. It This is all amazing, and I love it, and I'm, I'm passionate about it, but it, it it's a job, so if, if I go and buy a guitar, then I'm buying a guitar to play it, to advertise for the brand. And that is simply just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for me to spend money so that they get advertised. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. I still like to buy stuff that I like. <laughs> you are bad. <laughs> but, I mean, the other side of that is I'm selling a bunch of demo stuff to afford it. So. <laughs> and when I bought the Jaguar, I had to, I had to scramble to sell, like, two other guitars and a stack of pedals to make it happen. Well, I'm going to have to sell something to afford that dog. Yeah. You should name the dog after what, whatever you sell. The dog already has a name. I know, but give it a middle name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's a Fender Foot. Oh, there's, there's lots of little stuff. I mean, go and click on the links and buy it now. But if you don't do that, go click on my link tomorrow when, according to Ryan, everything is even cheaper. Well, Natalie was saying that there's, there's going to be a couple big deals tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be, but she, she was teasing it. like. Well, why did you say Henning do a live stream and push, or push the sale if the sale isn't even the full sale yet? Listen, when I did this... I did it sincerely. I did it out of my heart. I did it out of like a sincere idea that I had. I hadn't contacted her at all, letting her know I was going to do this. And so I started doing the video, and then she starts texting me like, oh, maybe you should have waited. <laughs> uh, I'm doing it because I'm a big old whole bag who um, can be bought and wants the money. Um, and also because it's Natalie. Anything Natalie wants, Natalie gets. Right? <laughs> I mean, that that's how it is. Look, guys, sincerely, Sweetwater hasn't had an affiliate program for the longest time, and we've been badgering them about it. They started an affiliate program. We were lucky enough to be some of the first people in it. Um, and it's great because I can link to stuff that I review, 
you don't have to look for it. You click on it, which supports the channel, which means I can make more videos and I can bitch about stuff. The stronger the channels are, the more we can bitch because what are the companies going to do? Nothing. They still want to be on it. Right? Right, right. Well, I, th I think, you know, Natalie and the people at Sweetwater get that this is entertainment and we can say, we, we're going to say whatever we want to say because that's how we entertain our audience and then people are gonna, still going to click the links and they're going to go find stuff that they want if they want it. No one's twisting their arm. No one's forcing anyone to buy anything and they're going to buy stuff if they want it because they shop for gear because that's what we all do because we have a serious problem. Yeah, buy, <laughs> buy this D'Angelico, uh, whatever that is. <laughs> Yeah. Weird stuff, but that's crossed the line. It's like one of the it's like one of those pears in the in the bowl that you don't want to eat because it's so misshapen. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's, someone designed that. Someone worked really hard coming <laughs> up with that. Well, they didn't want to do a Les Paul, a Strat, a Tally, or anything, so they designed a misshapen pear. To me, it looks like like a weird melted marshmallow or something. And here is their single cut, which is also just a little bit microwaved. <laughs> it's more normal, but it's like if you didn't know anything about the brand and you saw that hanging up in a pawn shop, you'd be like, oh, that's a $150 guitar yeah. based on the shape. It's some sort of weird import thing. But they've got some good stuff here. They've got some, some ESP stuff there, Fender pedals. Obviously, yeah, I tried one of those, uh, DR, is that a, no, it's a guild, that guild over to the right. I tried one of those at a shop and was shocked at oh. how much I liked it. Like, I was comparing it to a couple okay. other guitars. I haven't released the video yet, but I, I really liked that thing. I mean, talk about a weirder shape. Uh, it's odd, like, it's odd, but I mean, it's, it, it somehow isn't as odd as the D'Angelico's. Right, right. And there's something about those pickups have a really unique quality to them. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember being kind of taken back by that guitar. Michelle just commented, the blue ESP was nice. So Michelle is liking the Floyd metal guitar. But it is, I mean, color-wise, hells yeah. It's pretty. And I'm it's... not a big fan of blue guitars. What? I mean, that... Blue guitars yeah. are the best guitars. Uh, here's, here's the problem, Henny. I wear blue jeans. I've got blue eyes. If I hold a blue guitar, it's too much blue. I need other colors in my life. Uh, see, I see, I have other colors all the time. Right, you're, you're a confetti explosion all the time, so it doesn't matter what guitar you're wearing. Uh, that's some nice... Ah, oh, this is, of course, the, the Charbel Char Pro Mod in that beautiful green. Come on. Oh, yeah. That'll, that's, that's my style. Even though I'm not, like, a Floydy guy. Yeah, I would like that with... Yeah, exactly. I, I would like that with the, with the normal Floydy trim. Uh, Tone King Imperial Mark II Head. That's a good... Oh, that's also one of those secret call-in deals. I wonder that if, you know, if you call in, if you actually end up with, you know, Colin Scott in Scotland. Get it? Because it's a Colin deal. Get it? <sighs> Colin needs to have a Colin show called Colin Colin. <laughs> there's, there's something there. There's something to work with there. Colin, if you're, if you're, uh, if you're watching, there's a free idea. Free idea. Colin to Colin. Colin with Colin. You work, work it out, Brian. Work it out. <laughs> now there's a, uh, there's def. Oh, uh, damn it! I really like that blue. I can't say the name. Company. <laughs> Don't buy that. ESP. What is that? Twenty string. What is that? How many strings is that? Not enough, right? Double it. Double the strings, and then I'm interested. That that's an eight string, but that's kind of cool. You know, that's a good that's a good string to dollar ratio on that. Only six twenty nine. Yeah. Oh, he has a full tone pedal. I wonder. <laughs> wonder what's going to happen with Sweetwater and full tone. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Not going there. I mean, I kind of went there, but. No, no, I'm already on the next page, and hope, hoping that there isn't a full tone pedal there. <laughs> See, no full tone pedals. Whoa, that was close. That was so close, Ryan. <laughs> We're safe now. <laughs> Here's another weird Angelico. Yeah. Well, it's that same shape again. Just a different version of it. 
a Dietzel Terra pedal, that's kind of cool. People, you know what, you should really just go there with my link, definitely not Ryan's, um, or also maybe Ryan's, uh, and browse through these things and see if you can find something uh, that's going to tickle your fancy. It would really make Sweetwater happy, but the, on the other hand, I mean, are they, are they, are they, like, in trouble? I don't think so. I mean, I heard that Natalie's got to go to work in a potato sack because she can't afford real clothes, but, um... From what I understand, a lot of the uh, the big music retailers are having a, a, a wonderful time right now because everyone's home and everyone's working on their solo project and they're just buying recording gear and buying stuff that they need and they're cashing in, you know, their government checks if they're coming in and, uh, you know, I think for a couple months now, business has been good so don't don't buy it out of pity that's for sure <laughs> buy stuff if you need it maybe maybe <laughs> natalie can afford a second potato sack who knows but if you know? <laughs> if you use ryan in my links bubble. it definitely helps us because you know we're, we're not a shop uh, we got to make the channels work and we got to make sure that food's on the table because it's all nice and you, you think oh you get free guitars they're not free we work for them but um we can't eat them. I can't eat pedals. I can't eat guitars. Um, <laughs> I lick them all the time, and that's how I get Namthrax. <laughs> so, um, uh, it, it no, definitely. I mean, for, for guys like us, we do, you know, pay demos as well, but for me, the vast majority of my income right now is affiliate links, and I honestly feel like it's one of the most honest ways to make a buck doing this stuff because you're not twisting anyone's arm. Most of the money that you make off of affiliate links is for stuff that you weren't even featuring in the video because people click the link and then they go buy something else. It's like they're buying something that they really want, but you get uh, uh, you know you get some money for steering them to a specific retailer, which is uh, which uh, is nice. But also, people complain. Well, you know, uh, they say, well, what if you lied? First of all, my opinion is my opinion. No one can buy that ever. But what if I did? lie in my videos and said something is good that I don't think is good. Well, first of all, the channel would tank because people would find out very, very soon and then don't trust me anymore. So it's not a business model for a channel to be untrustworthy. But on the other hand, even if I did lie, there's zero risk for you because if you go to Sweetwater, you have a return policy. So yeah, if the return policy is great. Uh, I've, I've been talking to someone who, uh, a, a viewer who's who's getting one of the paranormal offset tellies from Squire, and they got it from Sweetwater. The first one got shipped to them, shipping damage, so they returned it. They got a new one, shipping damage, <laughs> so they're returning it. And Sweetwater's just going to keep going back and forth until their customer's happy. That's what they do, you know? And and if, you come, if it's not shipping damage, if it comes and you're like, oh... That's not sounding the way that it sounded in Ryan's demo and Ryan bullshitted me, whatever. Well, you know what? You didn't lose a thing because you get your full money back. So exactly. there is no incentive for us to lie because you're going to find out and you're going to return th the thing and you might do that one or two times and then stop trusting us because it's not what we are saying isn't congruent with your experience. So there is zero reason for us to not be... Uh, honest. Uh, I mean, here's me throwing a little shade. Uh, if you want to wor worry about channels that are being honest or not, you probably shouldn't trust channels that are retailers. <laughs> Good point. Just saying, if they are, if it's a channel for a shop, they're probably saying whatever they want to say to just sell units so <laughs> first of all a channel that is a shop they will not show you gear that they don't sell ever right and the stuff that they do sell they just invested in a whole batch of those guitars pedals or amps why in the world why in the world would they tell you ah uh, i don't know about this one <laughs> yeah yeah uh yeah sometimes people will comment on my videos where i I've said something negative or pointed out an issue with a product, and I'm like, well, on this, let's call it channel A. On channel A. <laughs> on channel A, I like, I like that, I like the letter you picked. Yeah, it's just, it's just a random letter. <laughs> uh, first letter of the alphabet. On channel A, they said that it's really good. I'm like, 
they're a retailer. What do you expect? <laughs> of course they're going to say it's good. <laughs> Obviously. Right. Or, or they might be, I mean, they might critique a little bit, but still, you know, not too much. By the way, if you're buying anything, anything, buy the Bogner Ecstasy Blue Pedal. It's literally the best overdrive in the world, three gain stages. It's the you will never ever get rid of it pedal. I don't know anything about it. 179 hey, bucks is. is me, I'm gonna go click on the link right now and buy it. Yeah, but click on mine. Um, <laughs> no, seriously, that is a pedal for it doesn't matter what style you play, you need to have that pedal. It's, what does it do? It's a drive? It's a, it's a drive, but it's got these uh, three gain stages, so you can literally go from clean to slight breakup and then go to medium gain or high gain. And it's an amazing solo pedal. It's, it, it does everything. It's very flexible. And put that in front of an amp that's on the edge of breakup as a boost, like to push it further. Holy crap. It, it does leads like you wouldn't believe. Like, like, the, like the town in England. It would do that. <laughs> um, we, we should stop this because I don't know who's... Why are 137 people watching this? It's really just us hanging out on a phone. Like we actually... Like sh we should do that more I often. I mean, I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging too much, but I got 170 yesterday, so no big deal. It's because your, thumb, it's because your thumbnail game is stronger. <laughs> I got these strong thumbnails. But I, I'm very proud of the one that, that I made for this. Oh, it's hilarious. I love it. Um, I, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't. Uh, I didn't look in the in the chat too much because I'm literally going through. Oh, Silversmith Smith from Ignata is good. Um, there's oh what ah uh, Caparison. They have some cool stuff. Two hundred eighty bucks off. Yeah. They've got that little zoom box there. I've got one of those. It's surprisingly still good. Which like, one? The the. Uh, the MS fifty thing. Ah uh, no, I don't know that one. Wompler Tracaris, that's cool. Are you looking for something affordable to mess around with? Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty damn cool. Uh, uh, can you people see that? Hold it up, hold it up. We're doing this. There you go. Like, if you want to get into some really crazy, like, ambient, like, stacked delays and reverbs and modulations and stuff, I mean, it is, you know, <laughs> all, the, all the drives and fuzzes and amp sounds on it are hilariously digital. But, man, the... the the Modulation and, and reverbs and stuff are actually good. They're, they're a lot of fun, and you can do some really creative stuff with that pedal. And it's cheap. They're like 100 bucks. Yep. Um, Michiel uh, is not in our will anymore, by the way, because he just uh, did a super chat for two bucks saying, Andy does it better. <laughs> I'm shocked that anyone would want to spend money to say anything about Andy. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. But if we're getting Gear Street off the ground, which I'm working on, um, then you won't be here, but Andy will be. Yeah, maybe I can be there virtually a couple times. Actually, we, I want to do this. I want to set up a whole virtual room because I can't fly you guys in. It doesn't make sense because I just don't like you enough. Um, <laughs> so. Also, it sounds like the rest of the world doesn't want Americans visiting it right now. So... It's not, be, it's not because of your political views. It, just a few of you have weird views. Uh, it's more because you're diseased. Yeah, we're, we're gross and we're sick and uh, <laughs> we can touch the rest of the world. So, I get it. Now it's just acoustic guitars. Boring. Boring. Lame. Uh, Natalie is so happy right now that she didn't pay me for this. Because <laughs> <laughs> imagine I send her an invoice for this video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Natalie is, you know, she isn't just pretty, she's also very smart. Oh, yeah. It's a very dangerous combination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's looking she at you, she's like, wait a second, I can make all these stupid guys do this stupid ass live stream where they talk about our deals and they're gonna do it because they like me, because I'm likable and I'm funny. 
Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> Here I am doing it. Exactly. She knows how to get us. She got us. So, Natalie, is that what you wanted? Is this what you want? Is this why you wrote to me? I have no idea. People, if you're in the US, uh, go to Sweetwater, check out the deals. If you're not in the US, don't do it because then don't ship internationally. Uh, then you watch this video for literally nothing, completely pointless. Uh, you lost. Except that. Well, they want it because they like you, Henning. They're your, they're your friend on the internet, you know? They want to see you for some reason. I don't get it either. I don't get it either. They want to look at you and hear you talk, and yeah. <laughs> well, um. <laughs> Sassy Cat says Natalie uses Jedi mind tricks. She might. Yeah. You want to do promo for Sweetwater? She should probably work for the government and, like, Get people to do things, you know. No, she she shouldn't. Deep state stuff, like deep state stuff. <laughs> Natalie, go do deep state stuff. Um, <laughs> Leslie's home. I'm uh. Now the dogs are freaking out, and um, I will uh, I will I will say goodbye to you first, and then the other people. Thank you. Andy. That was fun. was fun. Thanks, Brian. See, guys, we have this super mega technology here with all these cameras and this mega switch and all this. Uh, but I have to hold up a phone because I don't know how to do, how to get him into this. I hope that worked. I have no idea. Um, there's a dog. Um, you guys were great watching this for some reason. Um, go check out the deals. Uh, it, it makes Sweetwater happy, and if you use my link or Ryan's link, um, it actually makes us some money, and um, that's, that's valuable because it's money. <laughs> um, animals at the end are barking. I, ca I can't do any animals actually at the end. Um, and uh, Hey, Ty. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. And um, I see you guys on the Flippy Flop tomorrow. Uh, more videos, maybe even contest stuff, who knows? Um, we're gonna have to go through a lot of stuff, but maybe I'll upload some of the entries. Uh, we'll see. Definitely really cool stuff coming. My channel is filled with really cool videos that are already done, and there's uh, Boss, Crazy Tube Circuits, um, uh, Thorpe, uh, Warbruch, uh, what is that? Um, the, the thing, the, the Karl Martin, um, Poly Effect uh, just arrived today. Uh, what else? Oh, Fender Player Series is coming at some point. Really cool things in the works for you. And then, of course, links to Toman, links to Sweetwater. Use the links. Make me money. Uh, I love you. Bye, guys.